Welcome back, rookie. I could see your mission was a success, but it was sloppy. I understand you had some issues with mid-range targets. I got a new toy for you, the M16. This is the entry-level assault rifle and you need level 4 clearance to use it. There's also a freebie on us. It fires in 3 burst rounds. The damage on this gun ranges from 40 to 30 depending on the range you are from your target. This gun is meant to be used mid to far ranges. The gun has a medium recoil that pulls upwards. It has an output of 450 rounds per minute and 30 bullets in a magazine. You can reload in 2.03 seconds and empty a magazine in 2.36 seconds. You can aim down sights with this gun in a 25th of a second. This gun will weigh you down a bit. You can move at 95% of your normal speed. There is a headshot multiplier, 1.4 times the base damage. Let's move on to those perk setups. Ghost Slave Hand and Ninja. This will allow you to remain off the radar and maintain distance from your targets, which is what you want to do with this weapon. If that's not your style, you can try this. Hardline, Harden, and Hacker. This is not the ideal setup, but it is a decent alternative. Okay, let's get into the attachments for this gun. For a thousand points, we have extended mags, which increase the magazine to 45 bullets. While this won't help too often, it will aid you in picking up that extra kill without having to reload. Next we have the optic attachments. The ACOG, the reflex, and the red dot. If you can't get used to the iron sights, any of these will help you with your aiming and be able to get kills easier. If you are fine with the iron sights, we have my preferred attachment, Dual Max. This attachment has two benefits. It allows you to reload faster every other reload, and you enter battle with an extra two magazines of ammo, which will aid you in being able to get those higher kill streaks. Then we have some fun underbarrel attachments, keyword here being fun, rookie. The Master Key Shotgun. This is an okay attachment, it can help close range, but any secondary pistol will help more. Then the flamethrower. While it's nice to smell the burnt flesh of your enemies, any other attachment is more effective than this. For 2000 points, we have the suppressor. While it helps to remain off the radar and decrease recoil and muzzle flash, the damage to decrease over range means you will most likely need two pulls of the trigger to kill your target and possibly more. Then we have another optic attachment, the infrared scope. Useless attachment in my opinion, having no attachment is better than this. For 3000 points we have the grenade launcher. There is no way to replenish the ammunition for this attachment, so you only have two rounds. The only use for this is taking out enemy fortified positions, other than that, it's useless. So some key things to remember are, don't spam the trigger, take a second to make each shot count, in close quarters, don't be scared to use your secondary, and dual mags will benefit you the most. Well, Rookie, hopefully we don't have a sloppy mission this time around. If you return in one piece, I'll show you the Olympia shotgun.